This is a TM802 G modem and to disassemble it you need to remove four screws here Here is a push button and you need to push it and then remove it Now you can open the case This is the flash, it's 16 megabyte flash. This is how you link NT and the TM802G is connected. I use the this power supply. You can see it's drawing about 710 milliamps to the the power source and using the 3.3 volt from here is not recommended. I I tried, it worked, but it's, very, it's going to draw a lot of current from here and it's very hot here, so it's not suggested. This video shows U-Link NT program, the TM802G. Uh, by the way, we have fixed some bugs for the um, SPI programming and you, you better use 105. So first go here and TM802G. And we are using U-Link, so we can detect. Please note, this is the SFDP detection, which you had a bug in the previous version. So this chip is not defined in the existing chip uh, flash library, but because it supports a standard, it can also auto-detect. So let's read the entire flash. and you can save the backup. I already saved it. So let's do some experiment for erase and uh, program. So let's erase this section, which is UBFI1. By the way, 105 have improved the read speed for SPI quite significantly. And you can verify it. Yes, it's empty. So now let's program back. During the read and write, I see the power uh, usage for the 3.3 volt is 710 milliamps for TM802G. Even though I have tried using Unlink 3.3, but it will still work, but I would not re recommend it because it's very hot and using an external 3.3 power supply is highly recommended. Let's verify. Good.